My name is Levon Matthews and this past summer I took the SDC Aotearoa trip. Recently for my post program project, I decided to create a painting about the memories and experience I shared in New Zealand. So this is an actual image of the entire painting. Um, I mashed up all the memories and moments and important things to me. All in this painting, it took me a long time to do, but I'm very sad with, satisfied with the painting. It's a this is a close-up scene of me, Justin, and Silvio, two former peers of the SDC trip, doing the hangi together. It was uh, the hangi is a traditional Maori cooking practice where they basically cook food on the ground, and it was amazing. It was nothing like I thought it would be reading it online or anything like that. It was so hot and it was a lot of hard work, but it was amazing. Oh, there is also a view in the background of the Honoroa Beach, which is when we stayed on the homestay in on Wahiki Island. I got in the homestay I got a chance to learn a lot from the local teenagers around my age about how they think what they think about America and I got to tell them what I thought about, you know, New Zealand so far at that point and we had a lot of interesting conversations. It was a lot of fun and a lot of hanging around the island and I really enjoy communicating with them and my host family and getting a passion for that. So this is a a little photo of my one of my closest friends on the trip, Joe, uh, he's taking a photograph. He was always taking photographs and stuff. And on the top of him, there are the two vehicles that we rode around in Bianca, which was the leader group, the group leader in uh, in New Zealand. She led us around the country and I was paying homage to her company and all the great members we share in that van. It was hilarious stuff going on in those long hour long rides. But this photo actually shows Bianca. The reason I put her in this painting is because I felt like she was a very important part of my understanding of the Maori image. She was a, a wonderful woman who I felt like taught me a lot about her people. And right under her are two Maori performances. There's a man performing with a woman. This was the first time I actually got to have conversations about gender roles going alongside, you know, the liberal concepts of 2018 and how Maori people have have to decide between you know preserving their culture or adjusting to you know today's liberal society and you know how that stuff works it was amazing so finally I painted the top of a Mariah and a Waku both of these structures meant so much to me during the seminar week we got a chance to stay at a Maori Mariah during that week I learned so much about the Maori people the Maori changed my life the Mariah changed my life because it made me so much more appreciative of what I have back home in the United States. The conversations about the parallels between people of color in the United States and Maori people in New Zealand shocked and amazed me. Me and my peers shared great memories and even shared some tears in that Mariah. The Maori people said I was welcome back. I felt so welcome. I felt so at home. The Waku shown was a big part of the trip because during that Mariah stay we got on the Waku and we paddled down the river right next to the Mariah and it was so difficult it was so heavy raining it was so amazing but in, in, in all this trip taught me so much about what the land of New Zealand meant to the Maori people and I became more open-minded about their perspective as minorities in a different country other you know other than the United States and I've also got more critical about the black identity in America and how I can make a change in my life and the people in my people's life.